five new zero emission electric ferries will help navigate Nova Scotians from Bedford to downtown Halifax as part of a new Milco ferry service that will include two new terminals and a maintenance facility. The province will provide $65 million to the project with the federal government chipping in $155.7 million. Now, the Halifax Regional Municipality will contribute more than $38 million. It's a really big project. Patricia Hughes is Director of Planning and Customer Engagement for Halifax Transit. She says the ball got rolling back in 2020 when the city approved the Rapid Transit Strategy, which included four bus rapid transit routes and three new ferry routes. So people love the Halifax and Dartmouth ferries and they get a lot of usage and it kind of changes people's mindset about leaving their cars at home. So we're happy to expand that to another part of the region and start growing that culture of transit use. She says building resiliency and preparing to meet the city's climate change goals were a big part of the project. The height of the Halifax ferry terminal is being increased with respect to sea level rise. We just did a, a year-long Met Ocean study where we actually monitored weather conditions on the harbour for the entire year uh, to see you know how many days are really that foggy to have an impact uh, and that was all part of contributing to the vessel design. According to a news release the project is expected to be completed by the 2027-28 fiscal year.